kids don't know it, but without the friends of Rogers, they wouldn't be on this cool field trip with hills to climb, trails to hike, holes that are home to who knows what. What is that thing? I bet you it's a groundhog. And woodpeckers. So that's when he drills his hole, and then he sticks his tongue into the bark. A hundred years ago, this land was New York's first game farm, hatching millions of pheasants. During the Depression, the Civilian Conservation Corps, camped just up the road, planted and sculpted the farm's bare fields into the familiar Rogers landscape. When the state quit the pheasant business, local volunteers led by the Rotary Club pushed for a nature center. The state said yes. The volunteers stuck around and became the Friends of Rogers, advising from the sidelines. Then, five years ago, state funding suddenly dried up. The Friends stepped up front and center. The Friends of Rogers just taking the willingness to step in and, and really to try and manage and operate this place. They pulled together a strategic plan. Uh, they started hiring staff. Me as the first executive director, first full-time employee. Simon Solomon and says the really challenge is ongoing, but the Friends of Rogers have built a broad network of support. From uh, you know our, our corporate sponsors to our foundations to the individuals that visit the property, individual donations, uh, everyone's really pulled together and and just put forth the effort to try to pull this place together and, and get it funded by a local organization. Namely, Friends of Rogers, local but with a regional reach. We typically feel as though we hit upon at least a 60 to 90 mile radius. That's not to say that we don't have people that come up from, from Pennsylvania for the, for the day. It's just south of Binghamton, um, western New York, and then families that come back for visits. You know, we have people from California that sign the guest book. 16,000 came last year, up from 6,500 the year the Friends took over. Each visitor at least a little more in tune with the natural world than before. You know, we have so many different opportunities for people to see wildlife in really close up right here in Sherburne. You know, you go right from downtown in a mile, you're at the Rogers Center and, and you can get lost here in the woods, literally and figuratively. And I think that's a lot of what people bring away from here is they bring a part of Rogers with them and they always want to come back to experience it again. Thanks to the friends of Rogers, they'll be able to.